All right, Christopher, so you came in with neck and shoulder pain. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about the neck pain? So I went to two doctors prior to this. Okay. And they told me that it ran along my trapezial mm -hmm. muscles. Okay. So it starts at the base of my skull and it moves down and around my shoulder blades. And so they've said that it's just muscular. However, I'm not convinced since okay. I've been going to physical therapy for a month. Okay. And it hasn't resolved. So we need to figure out exactly what's going on. So if you want to follow me, we're going to go take a thorough exam. Okay. See exactly what's going on with you, okay? Awesome. All right, let's do it. Keep looking as far back as possible. Bring your chin to your chest as far as you can. Now I want you to look left as far as possible. And right as far as possible. So you can go a whole lot more to the right. Oh yeah. That's bad. <laughs> yeah. How much red are you seeing? A lot. A lot, right? Yeah. As soon as you're right there, hold as still as possible. Very quick. Okay. All right, Chris, you can close your mouth. First thing we're seeing is you see how straight this portion is right here. Mm -hmm. So we're losing that top curve in the neck. So what's happened is that top bone has dropped down and shifted off to the right. And over time, what's going to happen is we're going to start getting this curve back to normal, decreasing and stopping this degeneration process going back to normal. All right, what you do is look back, look as far back as possible, bring your chin all the way up. There you go. That's a lot easier. Yeah. Bring your chin to your chest as far as you can. Perfect. Go back and looking straight ahead. And bend at your waist about 45 degrees. Beautiful. I want you to look to the left as far as you can. Beautiful to the right. That's a huge improvement. I hope you're excited about that because numbers don't align. I know you're feeling yeah. a lot better too, right? Yeah. Awesome, awesome. You couldn't move your neck at all, right? No, I couldn't look at you like this. Yeah, uh, I'd have to be basically where the camera is at for him to be able to see me. So, yeah. you know, we've only been with you for two months. You're heading off the temple. Congratulations, that's awesome. Excited for you. Thank I'm also you. a little bit sad because you're going to go leaving me. But, you know, what are some of the things and changes in your body you've seen with upper cervical care? I've noticed that first, I slept a lot. And it didn't catch me by surprise. I was very well prepared for the process that I was getting into. But I definitely slept more. And I started to be able to just move my head. So I had to be really fragile and careful with myself before I came in. And afterwards, I was able to go back to looking around and being able to, when I went to stores, looking up at top shelves and not having to worry about hurting myself. That's huge. So, would you say we've made pretty good progress in the two months you've been coming in? Yep. Yeah, you're gonna continue upper cervical care when you get up to? I am. Good old temple? Yes. Awesome. If you guys are dealing with any neck stiffness, any tightness in the neck, inability to turn your head, that's usually a really good sign to say there's more than likely an upper cervical misalignment up top. So if you're noticing turning the left a little bit easier than the right or vice versa, please give us a call. We'll be able to check you out, see exactly what's going on, get you some results like Christopher got.